enemy in Jesus' name. I'm going to the enemy's pit. I'm going to take back what was rightfully mine. Man, you're going to go in there so quick, the enemy's not going to see. Hey, who, who was that? That was Mark? No way, that can't be Mark. You know, I can see the demons talking. Hey, that can't be Mark, man. He's always afraid. He's always scared. He's, he doesn't want to get out of bed. He's always shaking. Oh, that's why we put that pee on demon on him, you know? Because he's just a little bit Hey, that is Mark. What's going on? Because he's got a new attitude. The attitude is, is what? We're on the offense of going in. And not being afraid to go where, where everybody else is. You know, you're, you, everybody else is afraid, but not you. Why? Because you realize that you're not status quo. You're above average, and you're going for it. And you know what? You're not thinking about your past. You're telling the devil about his future. And you're expressing, you know what? But you are sick. I'm not sick. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I keep moving forward. Wow, I'm taking deliberate steps. That's what it is. I'm taking those deliberate steps knowing that you don't want the addiction that I have. It's gone. Well, they're going to bring the urge to you. But you know what? God's going to come in like a flood, the Bible says. And he's going to put a standard against it. That's the way it's going to be in Jesus' name. Why? Because God has called you to something greater. He's giving you a dream by design. He's created that dream in you that God has called you to literally be the man and the woman in this day and time for such a time as this. Just as he raised Esther for that period of time to save her nation, God has raised you up to save a kingdom for his honor and his glory. In Jesus